Hi, Dr. Windish again from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Welcome to our video series for parents. Today we want to talk a little bit about heart murmurs. Very, very common thing to have happen to children. Strikes fear in the hearts of most parents. Uh, fortunately, most of the time it's good news. Remember that these videos do not replace consultation with your pediatrician. If you have questions, if you have concerns, please make an appointment to be seen. We'd be happy to see you here in our office, area code 775-359-7111. We take most insurances and can get you in the same day. So what is a heart murmur? What does that mean for your child? Well, a heart murmur simply is a sound that we're hearing on physical exam. Instead of the usual lub dub lub dub that you get with a heartbeat, there are additional sounds. Sometimes we refer to those additional sounds as adventitial or extra sounds. Lub shh, lub shh, lub shh, or shh, 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 or <laughs> all of which would be different heart murmurs, all of which would imply different things for the child. The key here is a murmur simply refers to an extra sound, okay, and per se is not a diagnosis. The diagnosis is what's really going on in the heart. The majority of heart murmurs in children, especially in infants, are not associated with anything horrific. So uh, most of the time it's nothing to worry about. But and we see lots of children who were diagnosed with heart murmurs years ago and the parents are still waiting for their child to have a fatal event. Uh, and when I review the records and when I listen to the child, I discover that what really was diagnosed was something called a stills murmur, which is a heart murmur that is of absolutely no medical consequence whatsoever. Um, the key here is when your doctor hears a murmur, it depends on, on, on the other findings. Is the child in heart failure? Is the child's liver getting large? Is the child sweating when they eat? Is the child turning blue when they eat? Is the child gaining weight like they're supposed to? Is the child swelling up? Um, and then the specifics of what that sound is helps the doctor to make a diagnosis. If your doctor's not sure what that murmur is, then they'll refer you to a cardiologist who can take pictures of the heart, an ultrasound called an echocardiogram, and know exactly what that murmur is. The most common reason that a, a cardiologist gets a referral for a murmur is something called the stills murmur. And again, we already kind of talked about that. It is of no medical consequence. Once in a while, there are small holes in between the various chambers of the heart. If those, cha if those holes are small and the child is a newborn, they almost always close up on their own. We just need to watch the child and make sure that they close. Rarely they can be associated with the valves that go in between the various chambers of the heart. Those may or may not go on to be a problem as the child gets older and need to be watched closely by a cardiologist. And rarely there are holes in between the various chambers of the heart that are so big they don't seal up by themselves. And if that happens, those need to be watched very closely and sometimes need to be treated with surgery, but that's what we have cardiologists for and they'll watch for that. The key here is when you hear that your child has a, a heart murmur, don't let it strike fear in your heart. If you need a referral to a cardiologist, you need a referral to a cardiologist, you get the echo that you need. Um, but murmur itself is simply a sound and is no different from horn honking. Horn honking can mean goodbye. Horn honking can mean you're about to run into my lane and run me over. And I'm a large truck, don't do that. Uh, a murmur is a sound and it can be nothing, it can be something and that's why we have doctors. So. Um, don't assign too much value to the name murmur. What you really need to know is what is the defect? Is there one? Is it a stills murmur? Is it a defect in the ventricular septum? Is it a defect in the atrial septum? Is it a defect in one of the valves? Because uh, those all have are very different diseases and some of them are benign, some of them are not so benign. So we need to look at each of those diseases a little bit more closely, assuming that's what's going on. So I hope this helps to keep you calm and help you to feel a little better when you're waiting to see the cardiologist. Clearly, if your physician thought that your child's life was in imminent danger, they'd get you in with the cardiologist immediately or they'd hospitalize you. So if you're waiting for an outpatient referral, chances are this murmur is nothing. Definitely follow up like you're instructed, get whatever scans you're instructed so that you can know for sure that your child is okay. Our goal is to keep everybody safe and healthy. 
uh, but most of the time everybody does just fine. Hope this helps. This is Dr. Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Again, you can call us at 775-359-7111. We'll see you next time.